In this video, I will talk about distribution list in Outlook. Let's first understand what is a distribution list. Imagine your company has different teams such as a sales team, a marketing team and an operations team. And each team has multiple people. Each person in the team has their own email address. The emails can be your company email like john at technologyaid.com and enrique at technologyaid.com or free emails from gmail.com, yahoo.com or outlook.com. Now, when you want to send an email to all the people on the marketing team, you need to type their email addresses one by one. And when you have like 10 people in a team, it's difficult to remember everyone's email addresses, right? Here comes the distribution list. You can create distribution list for each of the teams and when you need to send an email to a team, just add the team name instead of adding the members one by one. Let's experience the complete process. Later in the video, I will explain how to create a distribution list for Gmail. First, I will create a new distribution list. For that, I will open the contacts in the Outlook application. Here, I will select new contact group. Now, I will create a name for the list. I will make it marketing team. Now, I need to add members to this group. Here, I will click on the add members button. Here I get three options from Outlook contacts, from address book, new email contact. If I select the first or the second option, I need to have the email addresses for all the people in the marketing team in my Outlook contacts or in the Outlook address book. With the third option, I can create new contacts like John and his email john at example.com. And I have an option to skip saving the contact to the usual contact list. So this contact will be saved for the distribution list only. You will not see this contact in the Outlook address book. Instead of adding them one by one to this group, I have a better plan. Here first I will cancel this and also I will close this window. Here I have a CSV file with all the people from the marketing team with all their details, their names and their emails. So first I will import these to my Outlook contacts and then I will create the distribution list in one click. Let's try it. To import the contacts, I'll click on the file option. Here I'll select open and export. Now I'll click import and export. Here I'll select import from another program or file. Now I'll click next. I have the data in a CSV file so I'll select this comma separated values. I'll click on next. Now I need to browse that file click on browse and this is the marketing team csv file i'll click on ok i'll click on next i want to save them into the contacts so the contacts is already selected so i'll click on next now here i'll select map custom fields so you see the name is automatically mapped to this name field now i'll map this email to the email field where's the email first i will scroll down to find the email Okay, you see it is already mapped. The email is mapped to the email field and the name is mapped to the name field. I can see some extra characters here, but don't worry, this will not be visible into the names. If you have some more fields for the contacts like their phone numbers and their secondary email addresses, you can map them as well. So now I'll click on OK, finish. Now I will try to find them. Here I see these are the contacts I just imported from the CSV file. Now to create the distribution list, I'll click on new group contact. I'll write a name for the list. Marketing team. Now I'll add the members. So here I'll click on add members from Outlook contact since I have all the contacts saved into the Outlook contact. So I'll click on Outlook contacts. Now I'll scroll down and I can see all the marketing people here. So I'll select all five marketing contacts and I'll click on this members button. Now you see, these will be the members for this distribution list or the group. Okay, now I'll click on okay and here is the list. So I'll now save this. Here I can see the marketing team. This is the distribution list or you can call it group contact. And when I click on this members tab, I can see all the contacts under this marketing team list. Now I will quickly import some more contacts for the sales team. So I'll go to a file, I'll click on open and export, import and export, go to next, next, 
I'll click on browse. This time I'll select the sales team contacts. I'll click on OK. Next contacts. I'll see the mapping if it is correct. Uh, the name is good and the email is also good. So I'll click on OK. Finish. And when I scroll down, I can see the contacts here. Now I need to create the distribution list for these contacts. So I'll click on new contact group. I'll name it sales team. Now I'll click on add member from my outlook contacts. Here I'll scroll down and I'll select all the five contacts for the sales team. Now I'll click on this members button and click on OK. That is it. Now save and close. So I have two teams, sales teams and if I scroll up, I can see marketing team. Now let's try to send an email to the list. I'll go to email here. I'll create a new email. Here when I want to send an email to a list, I'll just type the name of the distribution list. Here I can type sales and I see the suggestion sales team. I'll click on that. And you see, this is not a normal contact. This is a list. If I hover the pointer over the name, I can see the members option. When I click on this, it shows all the members. This is the sales team I just created. I'll close this. And if I click on this plus icon, it shows that if I want to expand the list, if I expand the list, Outlook will replace the list with the members. So how does that work? Let's try it. Click on OK. And you see all the member from the sales team are here. Now this is not a list. You can remove someone from your recipient list and the contact will not be removed from the distribution list. Let's try the marketing team. I'll type marketing here and I can see the marketing team. And when I hover the pointer here, I can see the members and here I can check all the members. To exclude someone from sending an email, Click on the plus icon, click on OK and delete that person's email from this list. Also, when you have added the members to a list, you can delete them from the contacts. If I delete the marketing one, two, three from my contacts list, let's delete that. And when I go to the marketing team now, I can see all the members. It did not delete the contacts from this list, although I have deleted them from my contacts. To add more members to a team, click on this icon, edit contact and here you can add more members. Either you can import them from the contacts or you can create a new email contact. To remove a member from this list, select the member and select this remove member option. Now you don't see that member in this list. To completely delete our distribution list, click on this delete group button and click on the yes button. So now I don't see that marketing team here. So this is how the distribution list or the contact group in Outlook works. Now let's quickly see how to create a distribution list in Gmail. Here in the contacts, I have a few demo contacts. To create a distribution list or a group, I'll select the contacts here and here I see manage labels. I'll click on that and currently I do not have any labels. So I'll create a new label. I'll name it sales team. Now save this. At the left side, I see the label. When I click on this label, I can see the contacts here. Now let's try to send an email. When I want to send an email to the Gmail distribution list, I'll type the name of the team or the label sales team. Here I see sales team. When I click on that, Gmail adds all the people in the list. Now I can send an email all together. Please watch this video to send the same email separately to the people in the list. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.